Hi, I'm Star First Class Andy Song. I'm the S4 NCYC, part of maintenance and logistics of the 411 Civil Affairs Battalion. I've served in the Army two years, active duty, and 13 years in Army Reserve. Number one, motivation. Uh, my family, I'm the first generation to join the Army. I like to serve the country. Also motivated me because I'm trying to make a tribute to my friend who uh, passed away in 2005. Christmas Day, December 25th at, um, at Fallujah. Um, he inspired me and then makes me more, um, you know, at the daily, daily, daily things I see and then think about him. But that made me motivate to join the army because I want to make the tribute and you know foreclosure for myself as well. Getting my GED um, to join the army actually I was uh, went to many high schools I wasn't a good kid but there was a lot of open doors when um, my brother told me to take GED and then join the army but that time I didn't want to join for nothing. I was like, I'm going to go to college. But uh, when my friend passed away, it was time for me. Back in 2017, uh, I was in a very bad spot. I was trying to commit suicide. Going through divorce and deployment and losing my friend is all coming back to me. And then next thing you know, my friend saved my life. After he saved my life, uh, I enrolled to military training to be a the battalion assist. Then the battalion asked the brigades if they I could give the class to them because I gave the class every year. 743rd Transportation Company down at uh, Massachusetts. Uh, I was the unit suicide prevention team um, and also battalion uh, suicide prevention team as well. So I became assist for the whole brigade for 743rd and uh, 719. That was my biggest accomplishment. It saved my life and I like to save other people's life as well so uh, no one needs to be hurt. I supervise all my supply sergeants uh, because I'm in a battalion. Uh, we do logistics and maintenance, and I supervise them and um, do a lot of lateral transfers, turn ins, and for uh, movement parts, like movement pieces to the logistic of 411. Oh, endless. But uh, the main thing that I could think of would be traveling. You get to travel everywhere for like annual training, whatnot. Um, I think that's the big thing that a lot of soldiers who, who join the army is for the travel purposes and seeing the world. Uh, from the active duty side, you know, there's more cohesion to the soldier. Once I uh, found out there was an AGR program for my supply sergeant and I applied. So AGR is like active duty, but training the reservists Monday through Friday. So you're getting the timelines all prepped up for uh, monthly training. To say NCO is basically the backbone of the Army. You're the person who helps the low enlisted. We're going to retire soon, so they're going to be the next leader. So we have to teach them the best that we can and groom them. And so they could know and they could teach down there to their junior soldiers later on. So as a leader, we have to show them all the right way and the corrective training and all that stuff as well. So that way, whatever we make mistake, they may going to make mistakes. So we have to fix it so they could fix their soldiers. Three things. I can't live without my dog. My dog is the best is everything. Her, her, her bark, smiles, that just brights my day. Two, hmm, I would have to say my car. If I don't have my car, I can't travel anywhere, so. Um, and three, family. I can't live without my family. Um, at the end of the day, I think family will be the number one for me and then my dog and then my car. But family is precious. Um, you can't make up time. Family will always be with you, but spend as much time as you can. And I doubted myself before because I've always picked the career first. So I was trying to make my progression to rank faster. 
So I made my mistake not spending time with my family that didn't help. So, um, yeah, family comes first. My favorite season will be winter. I like to snowboard a lot. Um, you know, I like to spend time with my family the, because we're the only family that's in actually Philadelphia. My family travel all around the world to come see us in every year. Um, also pay tributes to my friend at the church. So it's once a year, my family truck flies from Korea, flies from California, fly from China. So it's everywhere in the world.